Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video of MAUI tutorial that is the layouts and in this video tutorial first of all uh, I would like to discuss about stack layout you know the stacks is actually uh, arrange item in the horizontally as well as vertically so you just can see uh, there are also two options available that is horizontal uh, option and the vertical uh, stack layout so uh, just add a new item stack page demo just I want to take the name of the page and you can see that uh, the .NET MAUI XAML page and here you can say the page name is stack page ok stack page demo and in the first page of the stack page demo that is defined in the app.sml file that is new tag page demo ok there is the name of the main file and here you can see in the stack page demo here we have a vertical stack layouts I mean to say that uh, uh, arrange item in vertically so here we have a label control and if you take any other control in the stack layout like uh, button control okay so the text of the button is hello okay so and that is enough and oops okay so vertical horizontal option is center arrange these item in the vertically by default uh, but if you can take uh, st uh, horizontally then you can just take uh, orientation property of the horizontal that is the stack layout and you can see in the windows machine that is the stack layout there is uh, no options to uh, provide it any other uh, things in the stack layout it's a simple thing you can take it So it will uh, just wait for some time and uh, you can see actually stack is uh, uh, behaves uh, like a uh, like a box uh, one box uh, over to the other box so in the position of the stacks so only the last box can uh, retrieve first okay so this is the stack layout and so in the stacks you can see the arrange item in the order either uh, horizontally either uh, vertically so just after a few seconds you can see the outputs and your uh, and here we go outputs and here you can see the first thing is the welcome to dotnet movi and the second one is the button control so uh, the first uh, you can see the uh, label and the button are arranged in the vertical positions also in the stack layout you can take uh, orientation property is horizontal is horizontal also and also horizontal stack layout is available and you can see the outputs as well so thank you guys for watching this video uh, about the stack layout the next thing is to add grid layout grid page demo and in the grid uh, and in the grid page demo uh, just add a grid okay in the grid uh, i have a label control just replace with the button control okay so uh, here we have a text is welcome to dotnet movi and at the same positions of the uh, button is second button that is dotnet 
Welcome to .NET Movie mm, tutorial. Welcome to ASP.NET Core. Okay, so here we have a two buttons, but uh, in the grid control here we have a single row and a single uh, column. If you are not defining any rows and column in the grid, so the default is the zero zero. That means of zero row and zero column. I mean to say the one row and the one column you can say. So both buttons are overlapping to each other and the last one is the priority. So the last button that is the welcome to ESP.NET Core will be visible in the grid. So uh, okay, oops, the first page are not defined in the app.sml file. So here we have a grid page demo. Okay, just make the stop debugging. and now just again now you can see the uh, both buttons are overlapping to each other what's going with okay welcome to asp.net core that is the first button you can see because all uh, each buttons are overlapping to each other and if you want to define rows and column in the uh, grid view just you can take uh, column definition as well as the row definition in that grid. so here you can mm, add mm, grid dot row definitions and here you can take that row definitions here is uh, here we have a first row definitions and also you can take the second row definitions so here we have uh, two rows in the um, uh, in the content page and two columns so grid dot columns grid dot column definitions and column definition So here we have two uh, row and the two column in the uh, grid and define the rows and the column on the button control as well and the, so here we have grid dot <coughs> row that is zero and uh, grid dot column is specified that is zero. Similarly we have to define the second button control uh, that is grid dot row that is one and uh, grid dot column that is one okay so each button are displayed in the diagonal position so you can take oops Now run the application on Windows machine just click on the play button and just run on it so here we have two row and the two column uh, row define uh, the height property and the column define the width property so you can take height and width as well uh, uh, in the rows and column and also define the width and the height on the which is uh, defined the strict with the strict sign I mean to say that that is the type of variable and uh, also you can take in the form of percentage okay so uh, you can see and arrange item as well as in the rows and the column and also here we have two options that is the row span and the column span so both are the position in the diagonal so if you can take a uh, row span and the column span so here you can take zero row and the zero column just I want to zero row and the zero column. I mean to say that uh, here we have whole span property. So grid dot column span is two. I mean to say that first button is display in the first row, and you can see the output. 
the uh, first uh, two columns that is the upper two columns are merged together and uh, your button will be displayed in the positions in the whole position in the first row because the both are columns are uh, merged similarly uh, with the second button you can take so here we have uh, the button will be displayed in the both columns okay so if you cannot define columns grid dot rows and the grid dot columns then what happens the by default is also visible in the zero row and the zero columns if you are not defining and you also checked in the um, just few seconds before okay so here we have uh, just wait for some times and here we go okay so uh, the next thing to do in the grid layout that is there is a no a need to define the grid and draw definition at here just define grid dot row definitions i mean to say that uh, in the percentage format so here we have two row that is a star type of star i mean to say that you can take any type of height pro height property and the column definitions also so you can take star dot star also you can take 0.2 percent and 0.8 percent columns and here we go so here you can take two rows with the height property that is the variable type and the column definition is the first column is the two percent uh, on the two percent and the second column is on that eight percent so here we have two columns so also you can take the grid with the row definition and the column definitions uh, with the percentage of star oops here we have dot it's not a dot actually it's a comma property so just save this and again separate both the uh, width and the numbers of the row by the comma so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to dotnet maui and please don't forget please subscribe my channel asp.net core and uh, oh, such uh, many projects which is available in the dotnet core i will provide you and uh, enjoy it and these are much more helpful in your project and here you can see the outputs actually thank you guys for watching this video